Spent a weekend really. Um, a few bits on yesterday, so I didn't get too much done on the pond. But um, I cracked on this morning, had me mate round to uh, to give me a hand uh, just for the last few bits. So we'll flip me around and have a look. Um, so we just put a bit of packing in uh, to bring that wall out level with the window. It literally is just a bit of old plywood uh, that was the perfect size just to bring it out so the window is now flush against there. Uh, we've got the sand in. Um, I've got a nice drop down all the way around uh, to the bottom drain. Um, I'm going to have to get in there with the old hoover and hoover the holes outside me. My mate's lad helping me and uh, he's just, he's done a good decent job like, but he's filled all the bloody screw holes in with sand. So I'll have to, I'll have to get those done. So uh, we're going to dive out to B&Q in a bit. We're going to go looking at showers and what have you. So I'm under orders today, which is fair enough. Because um, we're going to get some stuff done as well. Uh, but hopefully... Hopefully, if the weather stays half decent, it's forecast to rain from about two o'clock. So I'm hoping I can get on, get the get the underlay in, uh, and then try and get uh, try and get the liner in today. See if we can't get some water in it just to do some testing uh, of the plumbing and what have you. Uh, flip you around, flip you around if I can get my that thumbs working. Um, so we've cut and put the slide valve in, ready for all the plumbing to come off in the filter, but. That's shut off now, so I should just be able to fill this up uh, once the line is in, and that'll give everything a good test, and we'll see whether we're dropping. Um, I'm not going to cut the window out until I've done that. I'll cut the window out of the liner until I've done that. Then I'll drop it all. Then I'll cut the window out. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that last. Just because uh, I don't want to cut anything or do anything until... Obviously, um, we can uh, we can make sure we're, we're everything's good uh, and everything sounds just in case if anything we can have to start again. I do, but you never know. Um, so we've loaded this up. Um, our Danny gave me a shout and said, from experience, get more wood in. So it's a load of three-inch timber. Battened it all out. Uh, we've done that all the way around. Uh, they're actually four-inch timbers on the other side, and I've done the same at the back. And then we've got a load of these. Uh, you see them, you see a 200 mil they are, so they just whack right through and there's a few of them on each one pulling everything in, so it's all pulled in square. So, uh, so fingers crossed, I mean I guess you never know until you do it, um, so we'll uh, we'll get that box off. Uh, hopefully, hopefully get some water in it today, um, like I say it depends what the boss is, uh, wants me to do, so I know I've got to get on with a few bits and bobs because I'm spending all weekend doing this and every weekend, so starting to wear starting to wear thin which is a fair comment really so uh, yeah we'll get cracking uh, and get back to you when we've done a bit more all right gang well we are liner in I'm not cutting the window out yet as i said i'll uh, drain it out but we're we're getting there with it these box wall liners are great next job in so here's the missus help Say hello. So she's going to pass me the gear over and I'm going to do this. I'm not going to film it because I'll cry if I cock it up. So uh, I'll get back to you when it's in. Uh, wish me luck. Catch you in a bit. Okay, gang. Well, it actually went easier than I thought it would, but we're not done yet. So, you know, let's. Well, not be said. Uh, I've got to cut the uh, post for the bottom drain down. Uh, yes, and I've got to pull it into the corners a bit. It's a bit baggy in some areas, but then I guess it's gonna be. Um, but we just this is just a test. Um, I've got some net to put over to stop these bloody cherries dropping in. Uh, but uh, yeah, just just testing it um, to get the shape of it. Let it settle. Make sure nothing's gonna bust its seams. Um, before I start making any cuts into anything else um, but um, yeah um, both uh, Jamie keeping it coy did a cracking video fitting these um, so far so good mate spot on followed yours like it. Jack Bolden Reefer um, seen him do it as well um, so that's spot on um, I said I didn't film it because I needed both hands uh, and the missus was busy so um so yeah, but you've seen it done and how they did it is the best. I've got one of those DeWalt 
um, cordless screwdriver gun drill things and everything else um, and I just put that on setting number five and it ratchets off at setting number five and that was perfect just to squash it down to push the bead out um, using the uh, the gold uh, label sealant um, bead underneath it underneath the liner straight onto the bottom drain and then I put a bead underneath the bit that goes over the top of the bottom drain as well um, didn't really need it because it's only going one way there isn't it it's only going to go underneath that and down the bottom drain but um, I just belt and, belt and braces uh, on it all um, so um, so yeah this is like I say this is a test of the plumbing we're not finished around the back by any stretch filter or anything like that's not on but if I can get this to hold water and the uh, it doesn't blow the sides of it out then uh, then we're good to go so uh, snap back to you when uh, when either it's uh, full and everything's good or uh, or it's emptied all over the garden catch you in a bit okay folks we're uh, stood in the pond now uh, drained it all off trying to get the sun behind me uh, so that all held beautifully so I'm really happy with that but I dropped the uh, the bottom drain down and uh, just cut the pipe and, and drop the top down get rid of cherries out of here um, I've just put some wire mesh over the top on some temporary bits of old crap I'm kicking about at the moment because uh, the wood pigeons love to get up there and start pulling all the berries off so we'll eventually have a, a proper roof on it um, so yeah really happy with the way the line has gone in um, it's now time to cut the window out um, again I'm on my own so I won't be recording it uh, but I'll show you uh, what we did after uh, but the bottom drain I think I explained that yesterday um just said that he was on number five found the first sort of four holes at 12 o'clock six o'clock three o'clock nine o'clock make sure i knew where they located put it on cut the liner out for the hole squeezed a load of the uh the gold label sealant in there um as you've seen before on the videos and then just went down opposite each screw opposite so three nine six twelve one seven so on and so forth uh, and just wound them down really slowly until it ratcheted away on number five which is perfect just squeeze the sealants out a little bit around it put some underneath it as well just to belt and braces and filled it up about probably about quarter full and um, just to test it out no problems whatsoever so we'll get this window in we'll get that sealed uh, and then we'll go from there so I will catch you very shortly, hopefully, when the window's been cut in. Oh, okay, gang. Um, that's got to be the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. Uh, it ain't pretty. I wouldn't employ me to do it, but it'll do the job. So it's in. Sealant's all squeezed out along it, as per instructions. Bottom drain cut down. So that's working. So we shall... See how we go. Um, it got warm, so it's gone really baggy. So I'll let it get so full of water, and then I'll start pulling bits and bobs up. Obviously, I've done that end and glued it all on, so um, I haven't really got much room to manoeuvre there. But it's not too bad. But the sand water's got in, pushed it down, pushed it out, which should be good. Um, but I ain't no expert. But touch wood, so far, it's uh, it's looking good. Let's just hope that we uh, we get it to hold water. Um, we'll find out, and I'll get back to you when we do. Okay, gang, so if you just watched, uh, well, I've just watched rather, uh, my boy's Chloe, uh, Danny, um, fitting his bottom drain. It's exactly the same bottom drain uh, as I've got, and he fitted it in exactly the same way. Um, and I too have a problem with this bloody cherry tree and detritus falling in it, but uh, we'll get that sorted out. Like I said, I've got the net on. Uh, and so we're, we're filling up, um, got it sealed around the window. It's a few little creases, but it is a box weld, so they should push out. Um, I'll fish all this garbage out of here as well. But it's filling up quite nicely. Um, I've put some staples in around the sides just to hold it on for now. Um, and then as it gets full, I can take them out and jiggle about a little bit and get the uh, get the corner sorted. Um, but I'm uh, so far so reasonably happy with that you can see a little bit of the sealant that's uh where are we there it's come through but that's 
going to have a little bit of cladding on anyway, um, which should hopefully bring me up to sort of this height, about an inch. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll get the window cleaned, get it filled up, uh, and we're good to go. I'll just have a quick mooch up here at these. Oh, one of them has just dived down there, darting around in the bottom there. Well, the clarity is not too bad. I've slowed the filter like that. You can actually see the bottom of the pond. Uh, it's just hard to see with the light shining on it. But you can see the fish down there anyway. So uh, these guys in here are doing okay. Got a protein score on the top, so I'll have to throw a cracker at it. And then uh, the big ones in here. I did put one of the plants in here, but it didn't like it because it was too bloody warm. Uh, these are doing nicely in here. She's not there off. There you go, that gosh is really starting to come on now, really starting to darken up. And quite happy with it. Lovely bug shower down there that I've got off Jack, that's put some size on. Freshy boys are doing well, Dave, at even Koi Pond. Uh, and a Kahaku, there we go. Uh, and Vince and Ricky, uh, there's a little Yamatanoshki just hiding down there, doing really well. But these will all come out of here. Uh, just, and then the way. Turn the air back on. Uh, what about 20? Oh, I don't know what it is, a tree at the moment. Let's have a quick look. Where are we at the minute? 20 degrees, bang on. So, uh, so they're doing quite nicely in there. They're getting some food in, and I'm starting to just wind the food back a little bit now. Um, just a touch, um, because I want to try and bring the ammonia down a little bit, but the, the filters are starting to really kick in properly now, uh, which is what we want. So, um, so, we're all good. So I'll let this carry on filling up, uh, and get back to you very shortly. Catch you in a bit. Right, I, I'm going to end that one there, I think. Uh, otherwise, it will just drag on and get too long. So, pan's filling up. My dinner's on. Nice bit of salmon with new potatoes tonight. Um, sealant all over my bloody hands. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, do another one where when it's full and old in water. Uh, and we're getting the rest of the plumbing done. So, take it easy. Have a good week. Uh, catch you all soon.